Good evening. The first lorry carrying sheep for export has failed to get through a human blockade at the Essex port of Brightlingsea. This lorry was one of four contracted to bring livestock to Brightlingsea port, bound for slaughter on the continent after the nine-hour As a convoy of lorries carrying sheep for export to the continent was forced to turn back from the Essex port of Brightlingsea. A senior police officer said he'd never seen such diverse, dedicated and articulate opposition to a single issue. 6.30 this evening, the first lorry appeared. Demonstrators, some of them at Brightling Sea since early morning, immediately voiced their opposition. The small Essex town was having none of it. There was such a powerful demonstration against it that I decided that it was unsafe for it to proceed. There were young children in the crowd, there were disabled people in the crowd, complete cross-section of the local community. And people took part in the protest, which was largely peaceful, but police did make six arrests. About a thousand demonstrators managed to turn back a lorry carrying livestock last night and over a hundred people have already assembled at the quayside this morning. Richard Otley has vowed to get his shipment of livestock to Belgium despite the presence of demonstrators. And the police, the ones caught in the middle of it all, faced allegations of using heavy-handed tactics. Officers moved in to drag campaigners out of the way. Local protesters were shocked and upset and scarcely able to comprehend what they'd seen on the streets of their hometown. This is a peaceful demonstration just sitting on the road and I'm absolutely disgusted with the police tactics.